Hello friends. In today's video, I want to talk about Roblox Corporation, ticker symbol RBLX. Roblox is an online gaming and game creation platform. It allows users to program games and play games created by other users. Content creators, also called developers, can earn income when other users pay to participate in the games and related design artifacts created by them. So you can think of Roblox as similar to YouTube in some ways. Roblox was actually founded in 2004, but only really became popular during the 2020 lockdowns as more and more users started looking for alternative forms of entertainment. So it will be interesting to see how the users behave when the economy returns back to normal. Roblox reported their 2021 Q3 earnings last week, and it was positively received by the markets. As you can see here, the stock price surged from the 70s towards the $110 mark and is currently trading around $108 at the time of recording this video. Let's now look closer into their earnings report to figure out if it is a good time to buy the stock at the current levels or it is better to wait for lower prices or even completely stay away from investing in Roblox. As you can see here, the company has been reporting strong revenue growth which is steadily increasing every quarter. For Q3 2021, the revenue stood at $509 million. One thing to note here is that the year-over-year -year growth rate has been slowing down in the last couple of quarters. This is kind of expected as the world is returning to normal and people would likely be spending more time outdoors. However, it is still great to see that the year-over-year -year revenue growth rate is at 102%. One more important thing to understand with regard to evaluating the performance of Roblox is the concept of bookings compared to revenues. As you can see here, bookings is defined as the amount of virtual currency purchased by users in a given period of measurement. What this means is that not all amounts received from users can readily be reported by Roblox as revenues. The revenue reporting should be spread across the period in which the users actually spend the amount on paid games and other embedded microtransactions. So it is useful to see how bookings are evolving in the recent quarters compared to revenues to understand how the company is performing as the economy is opening up more and more. As you can see here, the bookings growth has been much slower than revenue growth and year over year it stands at 28% compared to the 102% revenue growth that we saw in the earlier slide. Also, the bookings have actually reduced quarter over quarter from $665 million to $638 million. We will have to wait and watch if the bookings will continue to decline in the upcoming quarters or if the company will be able to turn it around, especially during Q4, which seems to historically be the best quarter for the company. It is also great to note that the company has been generating positive free cash flow consistently every quarter. And similar to the decline in the growth rate of bookings, we can see here that the free cash flow is also not growing at the same clip in 2021 compared to 2020. So this is also something to watch out for in the upcoming quarters as well. Another important metric to review is the daily active users. Currently it stands at 47.3 million users and this number has been steadily growing over time. One small issue I see here is that their North American numbers have been flat or even decreasing a bit in the recent quarters. This needs to be addressed by the company in the upcoming quarters as typically North American users tend to bring in higher revenues compared to the users in the rest of the world. This can be validated by looking at the average bookings that each daily active user brings in. As you can see here, this number has been declining in recent quarters even though the total number of global daily active users has been steadily increasing. Moving on, before we review the valuation and growth prospects to decide if the stock is a buy at this price, let's briefly look into how the company is aiming to become much larger than just a gaming platform. They are hoping to become one of the leaders in the upcoming digital revolution dubbed as the metaverse. So what is actually the metaverse? In simple terms, the metaverse is a fully immersive digital platform that looks and behaves like the real world but is computer generated. As the technology evolves, users can connect and interact with each other in virtual gatherings using lifelike avatars and holograms. Companies leading innovation in the space includes Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Nvidia, and several others, including Roblox. 
Talking about Roblox, they have initiated several partnerships recently, which reflects the company's future vision in leveraging the metaverse. One of such initiatives is the partnership with Sony Music to bring live virtual concerts to the metaverse. Another interesting recent partnership that Roblox made is with the sporting brand Vans to launch Vans World, which will allow Roblox users to virtually try Vans skating gear and other products in a three-dimensional platform while also virtually skating with friends and other Roblox users. The users can also purchase customized skating gear, shoes and apparel directly on this platform. So with their involvement in the metaverse, I think the company has a lot of potential to grow their revenue significantly in the coming years as long as they continue making strategic investments and partnerships. Now let's look at a few scenarios to see if it is a good time to buy the stock or not. So here I have listed three scenarios where I have projected the bookings and free cash flows out to 2026 and then evaluated what the price of the stock would be in 2026. As you can see here, in the first scenario, I have estimated a 15% annual growth in bookings, 25% annual growth in scenario 2, and a 30% annual growth estimate in scenario 3. I have also estimated the free cash flow and the price to free cash flow multiple in all three scenarios. Based on this, if we buy the stock at the current price, you can see that we will lose money under both scenario 1 and 2 and only make a small gain even if scenario 3 plays out. Having said this, I am actually bullish on the growth prospects of Roblox, especially as the metaverse starts evolving over the next few years. What I don't like is the current valuation of Roblox, which stands at $62 billion. As this is a growth stock, which usually comes with a significant risk, I would like to get an annualized return of at least 15% to be interested in investing in Roblox. So for now, I prefer to wait for a drop in price before buying. As you can see here, my ideal buy price will be around the $62 mark, which will then give me a 15% annualized return over the next 5 years if Scenario 3 plays out. As you can see here, Roblox only started trading publicly in March 2021, and since then, the stock price has been all over the place. So I think even if they have one bad quarter, the price may come right back to the $70 or $60 range. So for now, I'll just put the stock on my watch list. That's all I got for you today and I hope you liked this video and got some value from it. I'll really appreciate if you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And as a friendly reminder, please note that I am not a licensed investment advisor, so please do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.